Welcome to Espresso Jams, short, concentrated, delicious conversations about business, life, and more. And now, here's your host, Joe Max. Hello, everyone. Welcome to another edition of Espresso Jams. Today, I've got a good friend of mine with us, Don Daves, and you guys are going to love Don. He saves business owners money with no out of sp- out-of-pocket expenses to the business owner with most of his programs. He is the CEO and chief advisor for the Diamond Advisor Group. And with that, here's Don. Hello, Joe. How are you doing today? Hey, man, I'm doing all right. It's, it's great to have us with you, to have you with us. It's um, early morning, and um, I'm still getting together here. How are, you, how are you doing over there? I'm doing fine. Just uh, getting ready for the... Christmas holiday and and family and things such as that, I guess. So I know everyone's thinking about Christmas now, but very soon business owners are going to be thinking about how they can save money on their taxes. Yes. And that's what, that's what we're going to address today with one of your many programs, right? Right. And, and what is the program we're going to be talking about today? Uh, The one that we want to discuss today is cost segregation and how it can save a business owner money. Okay, so from a 30,000 foot view, what is cost segregation? Well, what it is, it's a specialized tax study that can be used by businesses, both small and large. And simply put, it's just a process of identifying various assets and the cost of those assets individually, and then reclassifying them for purposes of tax deductions. In other words, um, if you have something that normally your property is uh, depreciated out over a 39 year period or a residential rental real estate is 27.5 years. You can go in and uh, re uh, evaluate the properties and find ways to reduce the taxes on things that you uh, may change out uh, on a shorter term. So, would I, would I be correct in saying that a, a lot of business owners group their entire, let's say someone buys a restaurant and they've got all kinds of equipment and they've got rugs and tables wow. um, that they're not going to last 27 years. But they're not going to last 39 years, but a lot of business owners will put all of those assets into a long, very long depreciation schedule. That's correct. Yes. What they do is they'll depreciate everything out over one term. And most of the time, while well, a restaurant, for example, is going to change out the tables and chairs and the uh, furniture, uh, furniture items, they'll change out the carpeting, they'll uh, redo the walls, they'll have plumbing issues, they'll redo uh, the kitchen, may be redone. All of those things can be depreciated out over shorter terms, which can save the business owner money. So that's a great example for restaurants, but I imagine that would apply to anyone who has assets. Yes, anyone that has any kind of uh, property, uh, this can be a huge savings to them. Uh, It doesn't have to be a large company. It can be a very small company. If they own any kind of property uh, and assets, they can depreciate those out over a shorter term. We found that uh, 92% of businesses in America have never done a cost segregation study. 92%? Yes. Wow. Now, most businesses have accountants why, why, or CPA. Why wouldn't a, an accountant or a CPA recommend a business to do that? It, it's a cost savings. Well, your accountants or your tax professionals uh, do a very, very good job in helping their uh, business owners and individuals in saving money on taxes. But what they uh, normally have, most tax professionals are working possibly with both business owners and individuals, and it takes a lot of their time. And so it's hard for them to find the time to do a study for someone. The other key thing is that uh, the IRS recommends that it be done by a a, uh, cost engineer. And most tax firms do not have a cost engineer on staff. And so they don't have the uh, ability possibly to do that without farming it out. So it's a very specialized skill, um, I would say, or or, or training and learning that that someone needs to do this. Yeah, Um, when you're doing a cost segregation study, what you're doing is 
you want a cost engineer to be able to go through all the information concerning that property to be able to break it down individually. And um, how complicated or time consuming is this for the business owner? For the business owner, it's not really uh, a complicated or time consuming situation. What they have to do is just to be able to provide some basic information concerning their uh, property and their business. And then the cost engineer can then take that information and put together the segregation study for them. And in your case, you do that with no charge to the business owner. Yes, that's correct. What we do is we work on a contingency basis and the fact that we will do a study for a company uh, and if we can't find them any savings, there's no cost to them. And we've also made it much easier now with the uh, current situation we're in with COVID where they can actually go to a link that we can provide them and they can fill in some information and the business owner can know within about five minutes approximately how much money they can save and if it's worth it for them to do it. So we'll have that link in, in your website or, or some link that we'll, we'll provide towards the end. Um, and I may also write it down there. So that sounds very interesting. That, that sounds great. Um, so th the business owner, it's, it's a very limited time that they'd have to spend and, and no money, basically. Your income comes on the back end. If you save them money, um, they're going to pay you for your services, but they'll never yeah. pay you more than what their savings is, right? No, no. no normally what you're going to find is that uh, the cost of a uh, study and the amount that they save, it's usually about 10 to 20 times what the cost would be. So there's, there's no risk to the business owner. None it's, whatsoever. That's what None. I'm hearing. Okay. Yeah. That makes, that makes a lot of sense. I, 92% haven't done it, man. And, and if you're listening to this and you're a business owner, I suggest you talk with Don. And um, if you're part of that 92%, there's no reason you shouldn't be getting this money. It's rec recommended by the IRS. It's completely legal. Um, it, it's, it sounds almost too good to be true, Don. <laughs> it does sound that way, but it is uh, recommended in the IRS regulations that it be done by a business in order to help them uh, with their taxes. Uh, and with our program, uh, what we do is we make it very simple because of all the situations we're in now uh, that the person can go online and do everything online without having anyone to come by and see them if that's what they want. Okay. And is there a link that someone could go to? Say they just want to go there and, and fill out a short assessment. Is that possible? Yes. Yes. And uh, it's a very simple link. Okay. Can you just tell us what that link is? And I'll also write it down. Yeah. It's uh, propertytaxcredits.com backslash 245498. Okay. Very good. And Don, would you say that's the best thing, the, the most recommended step for our listeners today to take? That's what I would recommend. I think uh, just if you own a business and you own property, um, in a building or your own residential rental property, go take a look at that, uh, key in some numbers and just see if it would be something that would be worthwhile to you and your business. All right. Now, I know some people would like to talk with you or get in touch with you uh, first, even if they're thinking of doing that assessment. What is yes. the best way to contact you? Uh, you can reach me at Don Daves at gmg-stride.biz. And that stride is S T R Y D E dot biz dot biz. That's fantastic. Don, I sure appreciate you being here today. And I know our listeners do also. And, um, what I'd like to say, guys, man, get, get in touch with Don. Um, if you haven't had a cost education study, get in touch with my buddy, Don. Yes. Great to have you here, man. Happy holidays. Happy holidays, Joe. Thank you very much for your time. I appreciate it. Thanks. Thanks. Bye now. Bye.